Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Coins and Crafts. This is a recap of the last two boxes that I was able to go through. I was able to get uh, through a box of pennies um, that uh, I was not impressed with and a box of nickels that uh, was uh, was decent. So let's get right into it. Um, so for the pennies, um, I, I got only one Canadian, uh, which is pretty much the lowest um, lowest number of Canadians that I've pretty much ever gotten. Um, but then the rest of the coins, in the 50s of 52 Denver, 53 San Francisco, 58 Philadelphia, and 59 Philadelphia. The 59 um, is actually in pretty good shape. It's this one right here. Um, so it does have some contact marks on the front. Um, the reverse is not too bad. There's some good luster um to it there's uh so it's it's not not a bad coin but uh uh the 40s i only got two 40s um this box was kind of interesting because a lot of these coins that are on this list um 44s 46 philly um then i found uh basically one from every every decade um uh, 1930s, a 30s, a 39s, and the 20s, I found a 20s, and then in the teens, I found a 1919s, which is going to be this one right here. So good looking 1919s. Um, back is not too rough. There are some lines on it, but uh, um, what I really thought was kind of interesting on the pennies. Um, before I get to the nickels, is that uh, I was about 85% the way through the box before I really found anything. The first, like, 80% of that box was garbage. I mean, there was just nothing there um, that I thought that I would want to keep for any reason. Um, so I was getting, uh, I was in, the, like, the last 20 rolls or so, um, and I was just short of just taking it all back to the bank because I was, I was really not impressed with, uh, with that set at all. But in the end, it turned out to be just an okay box. Um, I would still probably la label it possibly a skunk box. Um, but you know, y you get what you get. I mean, there's, there's no way to know. You know exactly what's what's in these boxes that we that, that we go through, or what's in the rolls that we get, um, and we just have to get what we get. So uh, nickels, nickels. I had pretty pretty good luck um, in the f in, in the nickels in the fifties. Um, I did find one uh, 2012 Canadian, and that's this one right here. Um, so this one was really shiny. Um, so it obviously hasn't hasn't seen a lot of circulation. Um, so it's got a lot of mirror on it. Um, so that's a 2012 Canadian and the fifties. I found a 52 PD and S, um, four 54 Denver's, a 56 Denver, two 57 Denver's, and then a 57 Philadelphia, and then a 59 Denver. In the forties, I found a 46, uh, Philadelphia and a 47 Philadelphia. In the thirties, I found two 1939 Philadelphias. So that was cool. Um, and then as far as the special ones, I did also find a Buffalo nickel. So if you guys have seen my videos before, um, what I have said is that in every single box, I have gotten one of three, at least one of three types of nickels. I have gotten either a Buffalo, a Silver War nickel, or a 2009. And in this box, I actually got two. I got two 2009 Denvers. So I actually have two of the three that I have gotten in every single box. Um, so that is that is a cool deal. That's uh, two 2009s. Um, if you guys don't know, the reason why 2009s are uh, special is that two, the 2009s was a low mint year um, for U.S. coinage. Um, so um, the 2009s, if you look at the mintage, the mintage prior and after 
um, the 2009 year for Nichols. Um, they're in the about 248 million to 350, 365 million. Um, and in 2009, they were between 30 and 46 million. Um, so basically about 10% um, of what the, what, what we would call a normal mintage um, for that time. So it's, it's a very, very low mint year. So um that is actually where i'm going to uh um uh, going to draw the line and basically be the end of it um uh i'm going to try to get uh another box from a different bank um here next week um to see if i can get any better mixes um i think that uh or maybe just go to an another branch um to try to get uh boxes because i've had pretty good luck with the branch that i'm going through um, but, uh, I may try to get, uh, get something else. So, um, if you like this video, uh, please hit that like button. If you guys aren't, aren't already, already subscribed, please hit the, the subscribe button. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you guys on the next box.